So basically, step one, after you wet your pumice, it should have about the consistency of wet cement. And to apply it on the wheel, you just grab a bit until it starts to attach. Then make sure your glass is down, grab your part, and I kind of like to just dig in and uh, just use that to start sanding. And that's all pumice really is, is just sanding. Getting rid of layer lines and making it a smooth finish, uh, preparing it for when you actually go to polish it so you get a smooth finish in the end. You don't want to go crazy with it or anything, just medium to firm pressure. You really want to get just the outer edges so you don't affect the fit of the splint at all. Now make sure you clean the part really well. If you have any sand from the pumice left over when you go to polish, you're actually going to do more scratching than polishing. And don't forget to change your gloves after. You just, you don't want to invite any sand into the polishing process. Time to apply a heavy to medium polishing compound. I do recommend Tripoli. That's actually what I'm about to use right here. It's really good, highly recommended. As you can see, it starts to polish the surface so you can start to get a shine from it. I mean, honestly, you're gonna pretty much do the same exact thing you were doing with the pumice wheel, but just this time with a polishing wheel, and you're looking for an end result that's really shiny. As far as a personal recommendation, I really do like to use a dry buff wheel as well. Not only does it make it easier to clean up when you're done, but also you do get a much higher shine from it when you incorporate this. So we put a new wheel on. You obviously don't want to use the same wheel for a different polish as they'll cross contaminate each other and this is a lighter compound. This is high shine. You'll see why it's called that in a second. And this high shine won't actually start to look shiny until you get it on the dry buff wheel. I always like this kind of light dry buff polishing at the end as a final step and you can kind of see the end result. It, it came out beautiful, very clear, super shiny, and it's a result I'm happy with. Now don't forget to clean all the polishing compound out of the splint. It doesn't taste very good. Keep that in mind. And then the one final, final step, this is kind of just a recommendation, but get a clean dry buff wheel and while it's still wet, just really lightly buff it and you will get a spectacular shine and uh, also it dries it off, which is nice, but make sure it's a clean wheel. And this was Back in the Lab, Polishing Our Skills.